Hello gamers! Do you remember the last Dove Trigger friend from 4 months ago? It could be me, but it feels way longer. Perhaps that's because of the pandemic? Regardless, this mode was a 1 vs 7. That's right, 1 tank vs 7 others. So, how did Wargaming go about balancing this? Well, they gave the one guy 32,000 HP and the others 1,000. But the guy with the 32,000 HP has a 4 round clip and 650 health, I believe. With a 5 second in the clip. Eh. So Waffentrake can remove a T-55A in 5 seconds. But to counter that, the T-55As have 3 lives and a speed boost and whatnot. And after playing this mode for a while, getting a quick 10 kills would result in a win. Because in order for the enemy to power up, they have to defeat bots and run away from you. Well, you can see how well that works out for the enemies. I haven't lost a single Waffentrake in a game, because the T-55As just didn't seem to care enough about me. Let's take a tour through my 7 games to enjoy the balancing. But this is my first game. Checking what I have, the EMP Arrow, which is mostly useless, and the EMP Burst, which is another useless ability. Huh, who would have guessed? The funny thing is, trying to run from this bomb dragon is really hard. It actually said like, oh, you have to speed, but this tank goes 50. Oh man. There's just not that much competition. If you do 600 plus damage and the enemy does 50 damage to you at the start. <laughs> Good luck. Here you see two guys trying to run away. One is on low HP and we try to get him but he's a little bit too fast. Luckily, we can track the other guy and have I told you about the EMP burst? It's actually useful once in a blue moon. Nah, get it? Blue? Because the whole tank's blue and then if... The, uh, okay. This tank has insane view range, so you spot everything. Well, I'm oh, sorry dude, you're trying to run away? Well, nope. Explosions, Michael Bay. <laughs> Easy. I mean, hiding behind a house isn't really good. Hello, oh, oh, camera, please. This is one of those moments where, like, uh, John Wick, everything. Oh, 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 easy shots. See, it's it looks like they're not even paying attention. They're just killing people left and right, and he's just focused on the bot, and you're like, oh, well. And you're trying to run away as well? Well, no. And that's the end of the game. Well. On the next map we can try again, but we're lucky and get a bot spawn right next to us. So, easy turkey shoot, I guess? My question would be, who thought this mode would be balanced if the T-55As can't properly work together? At the start of the game you have to run away from a buffing trigger while killing the bots, and then when you're powered up, you can then fight the buffing trigger. Albeit at a distance and surround them from all sides. The Waffle Dragon merely has to prevent the T55As from gaining any power because not only it increases their power but it also extends the time by 30 seconds that they have to kill you. Basically, with all 7 tanks at the start, you don't have the DPM to kill the 32,000 HP monster. You have to run away. All the Waffle Dragon has to do is stall the game enough. And that is very easy to do. Ah, he's shooting me the entire time, what are you? <laughs> Got him. Ah, he boosted into the pillar. Well, I'm not gonna waste a shell on you. Wait, what? How did he not die? That was... Oh my god, that was inside the circle. Oh well. On to the next one. Alright, in our next one... See, I've already done some damage to them and... Trying to run away, that's a little bit different too. Yeah. Here, straight through the turret. <laughs> so nasty. And this guy, he just respawned, right? <laughs> I'm just the lead to game in five seconds. Yo, what's up? I mean, hiding behind houses, you're, you're nowhere safe. You just have too much alpha. You can change one after the other. It's not like you're really slow. Oh, missed. Didn't. <laughs> Good luck picking up that power up. Up, oh, easy from the distance. And this guy is focusing too much on the bot, and well, yeah, that's a bad thing. Don't do that. Yeah, they have only three guys left, so that means that I've basically won the game. On our fourth game on this map, we actually see that everybody moved in a sort of a cluster together just to fight the bots. That's a good strategy, but I prefer to have two groups, so you have two groups going 
to different sides of the map so you can spread out and don't have the water trigger shoot at one entire cluster of tanks. As you can see, don't focus on the bots too much because if you don't see it, then you'll see a water trigger shot in your face. Trying to run away, easy tracking shots by the way. This is so nasty, he's trying to run away with the booster and everything, but yeah, you're just too fast. You're too much of an accurate gun. And leading. Not enough leading, that was bad. Oh, <laughs> accidentally killed another guy. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna get this one, I'm gonna get this. Aiming, aiming. Oh, there's the house and there's... Oh, that was way too low. No, anyway, we can shoot the other guy. No, oh, he just turns away. And where are you? Aha! Finishing enemies is good, because if they pick up a power-up, they actually heal. And another guy is trying to run away. I slow him down. And for some reason, the bot, the bot Panzerkampfwagen, actually managed to hit the shot. They're not totally useless. Oh, yeah, yeah. And now, with the guy dead, there's only three guys left. You know what's gonna happen, right? Yep, they're gonna run away, and we win. But of course, there's other maps as well. And this time we're on Red Shear. As Luke told me how to pronounce it. And it's basically the same. You go towards the middle, you two-shot the guy, and that's it. You repeat. These are one of those things like, he's fighting the bots, I get that. But why would you double peek if you're safe? Just make sure you're safe. And oh, hello, just right in the open. Casually strolling through the field and boom. Just dead. Thank you. Fighting again with the bots is a really hard thing if the bots do a little bit of damage. Because now, as you can see, <laughs> the gun one shots. Oh, that's so great. Oh, uh, we'll have to wait for you. And there you are. Oh, easy. And, and sometimes you have the EMP burst that can help you out for uh, any, anybody that's close by. So, just so you can make sure that they won't run away. The purpose of the Warfare Dragon is just to annoy everybody. Oh, nice, nice. Was that lag or something? Oh. Okay, can't shoot that. But why would you peek? It doesn't make sense. Why would you peek? I'm looking at you, dude. Oh my god, this is well, like, all long range. Well, it doesn't really matter. This tank, the gun is so good. It's so good, you can just one slap people left and right. Oh, and that was the fun part of this mode, playing the buffer trick and then just slapping people. One after the other, slowing them down, putting everything shot after shot in the engine decks of the of these tanks. Oh. <laughs> Driving into buildings, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, remain peaked. Oh. It's not that hard, but 24 seconds left, that's an easy win. And the next game as well. At the start of the game, these guys are trying to go through the field, through the bot, uh, to the bot area, like H7. But they won't even make it. The reload of this tank is just too good. See? Ah. Wow. Easy kills. Same with this guy. He doesn't even pay attention. He's like, what waffle trigger? I don't care. I'm just gonna poke this, uh, this building. That's fine. The EMP ammo is really nice to slow someone down at the long range engagements. And just, just to make it easy. And this guy, with his boost and everything, you just slow him down, and now he's going to get normal speed again. It's... What, what upside? Oh, okay, that missed. Maybe the EP burst will kill him? No, that didn't need him. Okay, now we'll just finish him off. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, that's so great. Oh, dude, you're low HP because of the bots? Well, now you're dead. So he's trying to pick up the uh, power-up, but it takes time. And if you receive damage, the time resets. So you shoot him, and then with the EMP, because that also does damage for god knows why. And you kill him. 12 seconds left. Well, this, uh, <laughs> this is one of those games, you know. He's trying to pick up the power-up to give his team 30 more seconds. It doesn't really help much, but, you know, we want to win. So we damage him and go to the next one. And this is my favorite map, because it's so easy. It was so easy to play Fisherman's Bay. You could just sit on the E-line and literally shoot everything. There's only a couple things that are safe from you, but that doesn't really matter if you're in the in the Waffenträger. 
You want to see everything, and you can on this position. And you see an interesting tactic. At the start of the game, your HP is basically worth not a lot, and the enemy tanks are really lightweight, so you just ram everything to death. Up, uh, long range, nope, don't touch my bots, bro. Here, I, see, I definitely see something. Where's your silver? Ah, there's a wall in between you and me. <laughs> but now they want to get my bots, and I have to make sure my tiger is safe. Oh! Safe. Oh, he. What? He just died. Enemy. Revenge! Oh. oh this game. <laughs> Please. Alright, my bots are being damaged, but. Aha! Uh -huh. Everybody is one shot since I left them on one shot, and now you can just pick them off one after the other. I mean, they might pick up the power up or whatnot, but. That's not worth a lot if I can just shoot them again. Like, oh, you just gained 200 HP? Well, here's a slap for 630. <laughs> hey! And the same goes for this. Oh, you just healed a bit. Oh, Because if you put one shot into a guy, he heals, you can he's still on a one shot. I don't know, that's that, that's fair and balanced, I guess. Same with the tracking. Why, why were you able to track? That would be so much more balanced if your tracks wouldn't be able to get destroyed in the T-55A. That would have been a little bit better. But now, I mean, <laughs> look at it. People just peeking left and right. <laughs> No regard for their own lives, and I'm just here putting them back to their spawns or to the garage if, it, if it's the third life. Yeah, I really enjoyed this game mode. Everybody's on the field. Wow, you've healed. Wow, so good. But, I mean, you're still a one-shot, bro. Uh, you're a one-shot as well. Why do you shoot and... Okay, well, cool. I'm fine with that. Oh, easy snap. Easy snapshot. Is he gonna be safe? Is he gonna be safe? Oh, he's, he's... Of course he's just gonna be safe, but that's fine. We'll just skip ahead. <laughs> Pen him straight through the turret. What? As if this tank needed to do that. Come on. There's not a single safe spot. Oh, no gun depression? No problem. With 25 seconds left on the clock, I think it's time to reflect. The game mode was certainly fun for a while. But the imbalance and the need for a platoon in the T-55A really put a break on my journey. Uh, plus needing certain keys to even be able to play the Waffenträger left many people waiting in the garage. I hope we get to see more of these modes in the future. Thank you for watching and if you liked it hit that like button. Or if you want me to create more content hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Badumch.